morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever the case may be. We are back and better than ever, and we are listening to the music. Let's get to it, shall we? We'll get back to the, the song, listen to the music. At the end here, we are talking about the binomial expansion. We are expanding binomial um, expression. So, a binomial, A plus B, is um, called a binomial as it contains two terms. So, A plus B is a binomial because it contains two terms. And if we take A plus B to the n power, it's a power of a binomial, hence a binomial expansion. And what do we mean by expansion? Well, a plus b to the first power, that's an easy one. We expand it, sort of, as a plus b. But here we go into familiar territory, a plus b squared, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So going from here to here, that is the expansion. a plus b cubed going from here to here, that is an expansion. And so we have that summed up right here. Um, I did some more here, a plus zero, or a plus b to the zero is one, a plus uh, b to the first, uh, a to the first, b to the first, and I have these guys in here, uh, the ones, um, <coughs> for a purpose, usually we will not do them, and so I go all the way um, to a plus b to the fourth power right here, okay? Um, all right, so let's take a look at this. Let's first look at the exponents. Um, a plus b to the zero, well, anything to the zero power is one right here. Um, a plus b to the first power, well, we have a to the first, b to the first. And here's this next one, a plus b squared is where you start to see a pattern. So we have a squared a to the first, and really what is here is a to the zero power, but since a to the zero power equals one, we just don't write it, okay? Um, so two, one, two, one, and then zero. Notice that it's decreasing. And then let's take a look at our Bs. Well, our b, the exponents of the b's are increasing. Really right here is a b to the zero power, but that equals one, so we don't write it. So we have zero, one, two, increasing by one. And we start with the power of expansion. So a plus b cubed, our a is cubed squared to the first power, which we didn't write there, I should have, and then to the zero power here, which we don't write. And then our b, our b, uh, b to the 0, 1, 2, 3, a to the 4, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, b to the 0, which I can't circle, 1, 2, 3, 4. So you should easily, in a binomial expansion, be able to get your a and b terms. Okay, so let me get rid of all that ink. Okay, well, what about the coefficients? How can we get those quickly? Well, we have a wonderful guy called Pascal's Triangle, and we'll talk about in class more about Pascal's, tri Pascal's Triangle, but we can use it to find these coefficients. If you start, let's start at row one here. Row one corresponds to the first power, and we have a one here and a one here, which are the coefficients of that expanded term, okay? Now, if you go to row two, look at the, in Pascal's triangle, one, two, one, one, two, one, four squared. What about cubed? Well, I go to row three. One, three, three, one, one, three, three, one. Uh, fourth, uh, fourth row, a plus b to the fourth. One, four, six, four, one. One, four, six, four, one. Bam! So Pascal's triangle um, 
can give you or does give you the coefficients of the binomial expansion. Well, how do you generate Pascal's triangle? Well, you start with a 1, um, which corresponds to this. And then row 1 are the coefficients of 1 uh, of the uh, a plus b to the first power. And then subsequently, to get all the terms, <coughs> you just, uh, for example, this 2 right here is equal to 1 plus 1 gives you the 2. Yes? 1 plus 2 gives you the 3. 2 plus 1 gives you this 3. So in other words, each term is equal to the sum of the two terms above it, or the terms above it that it's in between. 1 plus 3 gives you the 4. 3 plus 3 gives you the 6. 3 plus 1 gives you the 4, and so on. And you always start with ones on the diagonal. The ones are always on the diagonals. And, you, and you're like, well, where do those come from? Well, if you think, um, let's say, how did I get this one? Well, this is really 1 plus 0. We just don't write the 0 out here. Gives you the 1. And so that's how you can generate Pascal's triangle. So we can use that easily to expand um, uh, with a binomial expansion. So let's just try this one. Let me just show you one. a plus b to the fifth power. So we're going to look here for our coefficients. Okay, notice 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's always going to be one more um, than uh, one more term than the row number, and that is the nature of the binomial expansion. Well, what does that equal? Okay. Well, coefficients, 1, which we don't write, I'll put it there and then get rid of it, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1, right there, okay? And then our powers are just in descending order. It's a plus b to the fifth, so my a's are 5, 4, 3, 2, uh, 1, and then a to the 0, which I don't write, but I'll put it in there. And then our second term, the b's, they increase. b to the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you are done with the expansion between the row 5 of Pascal's triangle and the powers of the a term decreasing and the powers of the b term increasing. Bam! Binomial expansion. What? All right. So how can we use that? So they give us this expansion here, a plus b cubed, I'll go ahead and rewrite it, is equal to a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. So we need to expand 2x plus 3 cubed. Well, in this particular <coughs> example, a is equal to 2x and b is equal to 3. So wherever I see an a, I'm going to replace it with 2x. So um, let me go ahead and write it out correctly. 2x plus 3 cubed is going to be equal to, again, a is 2x. So I replace this a here with 2x, 2x cubed, plus 3 times 2x squared. Here comes my b. My b is 3 plus 3 times 2x times 3 squared plus 3 cubed. And then we simplify that. 8x cubed, everything in there cubed, plus 36x squared plus 54x uh, plus 27. That's just doing the arithmetic. Too, arithmetic. Okay. Well, what about x minus 5 cubed? Same thing. I'm going to look here as my guide. My a is x, and my b, it's negative 5 because of the minus in front of it. So that becomes, um, wherever I see an a, I'm going to replace it with an x. So x cubed plus 3 times x squared times my b term right here, which is negative 5, and I just keep on going, 3 times x times negative 5 squared 
plus negative 5 cubed. And so that gives me x cubed, uh, let's see, minus 15x squared, uh, plus 75x, because negative 5 squared is positive 25, and negative 5 cubed is negative 125. So hopefully you can see how you can quickly expand binomials. Last example, write down the fifth row of Pascal's triangle. Well, I have it here, handy dandy. So 15510. So that means that a plus b to the fifth power is equal to, now I'm just going to write down my a's and b's first, a to the fifth plus a to the fourth b plus a cubed b squared plus a squared b cubed plus a b to the fourth plus b to the fifth. Okay. Now I can look at Pascal, the, the row five here, and put in my coefficients. So right here is going to be a one, which I won't write. Five, 10, 10, five, and then a one right there, which I won't write. So in this one, x minus two over x to the fifth power. My a is my x, my b is negative two over x. Just replacing x to the fifth plus five times x times negative two over x, don't forget the negative, plus 10 times x. <coughs> Ooh, this is to the fourth power. Shame on me. 10 x cubed negative two over x squared. I got, I'm running out of room. Plus 10 x squared negative two over x cubed plus five times x times negative two over x to the four plus um, negative two over x to the fifth. So this simplifies to x to the fifth minus 10x cubed plus 40x minus 80 over x plus 80 over x cubed minus 32 over x to the fifth power. Okay, and there's all kinds of patterns happening here. These all came from um, simplifying these individual terms. For example, this circled one simplifies to negative 10x cubed, and I can take questions on that um, if you need me to. Um, one thing I'd like you to notice that I forgot to mention is in these expansions, um, for example, um, since it's squared, the sum of the exponents are going to be 2 cubed. The sum of the exponents are always 3 to the fourth power, 4. 3 plus 1 is 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. 1 plus 3 is 4. And then we have a 4 there. Also, in our answer, when we expand, um, we either are going to have all positives or the signs of the final expansion will alt alternate if we have a negative in the expansion. For example, positive x cubed, negative, positive, um, negative. They're always going to alternate. All right, so that is all I got. Hope you enjoyed it. I know that I did. And with that, I am out.